Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you some websites on which you can test your code without downloading any software. So here's the first one. As you can see as I click the drop down menu we can see a list of many languages out of which you can choose one in which you are going to poke on. I'm going to select a language. Suppose we select C++ and it gets us started with the basic syntax which is quite useful. Let's try creating a basic program and see how this works. And I'll declare an integer value whose name will be num. And I'll input the value. And then I'll print the value. Okay, I'll print the line and then I'll input the value by using the custom input section. And as you can see, we input 4 and our output is 4. It also shows us the memory, how much memory was used, how much time it took. And by using these tabs, you can code in various other languages, doing one work and the other at the same time. Here's the next site. It is pretty much similar to the first one except it has a nice user interface with colorful text and a bigger font. And we can upload our own source code over here or you can copy it and you can also download your source code or you can also go full screen in it. It also supports many tabs so if you want to create two or three programs at the same time you can do so in this website and as I click the drop down menu we can see a list of many languages out of which you can choose and it helps you get started with a basic program to help you get an idea and as you can see I'm selecting many languages and now I'll select C++ and uh, let's try creating a simple program to see how this works. Now I'm going to declare a variable in which I'm going to store a name and whose size will be 100. It means I can store 100 characters in this variable. And then I'm going to input a value and then I'm going to print that value again okay. a name you enter and then I'm going to print the variable and close it down with the semicolon and then I'll give it an input and then I'll run it and as you can see my input was YouTube and my output is also YouTube and it says accepted and it shows you the how much memory it used you can also download your output and also maximize the output screen in this website which is sometimes use useful you can also upload custom input so to test your program with various types of data you can also embed it in other websites and you can also share your code which is quite useful This is also pretty much similar to the other websites. As you can click this menu, you can see a list of many languages out of which you can choose one in which you want to create a program. It also supports Python. I'm pretty sure you will be able to find uh, the language in which you want to code.
again it helps us get started with the basic syntax it also supports custom input by clicking that button and you can input anything you want inside the program and it is also similar to the other sites let's try to create a basic program that prints uh, two numbers that we give it I'll input two numbers and then I'll output a line and then I'll output a line with our first number stored in the and I'll first number stored in the variable and num1 and our second number is the one which is stored in the other variable and then I'll give it the input I'll enter two numbers so that it works and then I'll click run and there you go it shows us our output and also again it shows us the various data and you can download your code you can also share it on various other social media sites you can also copy your input and your output as well as your code which is useful if you are creating assignments or projects you can just quickly copy the code your output and your input and just print it and you and you are ready to go Again, another very useful site it is also similar to various other sites that I shown you before there is a drop-down list and in this list you can see many languages and you and you I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find the language in which you you want to code or you want to practice or you want to test your coding and I'll select and as you click on the code it helps you get started with the basic program like in this Python it prints hello world and I'll just select C++ because that's what most people use as they are starting with the engineering it helps us get started with the basic syntax here you can save your code you can also share your URL and make it read only and make it read and write only it shows you activity status how many times your code have been your code has run and it also supports custom input by clicking the checkbox and then you can input your custom input and then you can just run the code let's try creating a basic program which prints three numbers in the previous program it printed two numbers now we are going to try to create a program which prints three numbers so okay I'm going to declare three integer variables number one number two and number three and then I'm going to input those three numbers in these three variables and then I'm going to print out the value stored inside these three variables I'll print a line and then I'll print those three numbers by using the variable in which they are stored I'll add a little space to make the line look clean and 
and now I'll enter the three numbers and I'll click compile and run an error oh that was a missing semicolon and now let's try again and there you go the output and it shows our and it shows our three numbers and input and it also show and it also shows various data like memory time and other things and the name of the website is this and the URL is that